Do you hate your boss but love your job? Here's what you can do. First, it's essential to understand that you're not alone in this predicament. Many people face the challenge of dealing with difficult bosses, and it's a universal issue that cuts across all industries and professions. So let's dive into the steps you can take to handle this situation. Step one, analyze the situation. Understand the root cause of your dislike for your boss. Is it a personality clash or is it a genuinely hostile work environment? It's important to differentiate between the two because your approach to resolution will vary accordingly. Step two, reflect on your contribution. It might be uncomfortable, but take a moment to consider if you might be contributing to the problem. Are there areas in your work or communication style that could be improved? Remember, it takes two to tango. Step three, consider the bigger picture. Would you still enjoy your job without your current boss? If yes, then it's worth trying to resolve the issue. If not, it might be time to explore other opportunities. Step four, have the hard conversation. It's not easy, but initiating a dialogue with your boss about the issues can lead to a better understanding and hopefully a resolution. Be respectful, assertive, and focus on the issues at hand, not personal attacks. Step five, observe the changes. After the conversation, pay attention to see if there's any change in your boss's behavior. Remember, change doesn't happen overnight, so be patient. Step six, consider external factors. Is there something outside of work that could be affecting your boss's behavior? Understanding their pressures can help you respond empathetically and constructively. If all else fails, remember that you have the right to work in a healthy environment. Toxic and abusive situations should be reported to HR or the relevant authority in your organization. To summarize, dealing with a difficult boss involves analysis, self-reflection, understanding the bigger picture, having hard conversations, observing for changes, and considering external factors. It's a challenging task, but remember, you have the right to enjoy your job and work in a conducive environment. Remember, you're not alone. Many have walked this path before and found a resolution. So chin up and tackle the situation head on. It might be the start of personal growth and a more positive work environment.